Midday prayers at the Islamic Society of Bay Ridge in Brooklyn. But according to the New York Police Department, this is not merely a place of worship. Documents leaked to the Associated Press reveal this is one of at least a dozen mosques in the city which has been secretly labelled by the department as a terrorist organisation since 2003. The designation means anyone who attends their prayer meetings can be subject to investigation or surveillance by the NYPD. We came to this country for what? Freedom, justice. This is the more democracy. That's the most important thing you, 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 you live for. And when you find in the United States that's no democracy, no justice, no freedom, what do you think? Muslim groups say Police Commissioner Ray Kelly must reveal the information he says he has, which justifies the terrorist labels and widespread monitoring. Our kids learning in an after school program, women learning English, food pantries in our community, mosques, sanctuaries. What is the lead that sends them into our organization for 10 years at a time? Ahmad Jabbar was appointed to the NYPD's Muslim Advisory Council by Commissioner Kelly, but has now resigned. I feel betrayed. I feel stabbed in the back. Uh, we are the people who are trying to forge a cooperation between the NYPD and our community, and then you come up with being surveilled just because we are Muslims. On national television, the police chief again defended his surveillance programs and insisted they are legal. We do according to the law. What we're, what we're investigating and how we investigate it is done pursuant to uh, a federal judge's right. direction. Over the past year, Commissioner Kelly and New York Mayor Bloomberg have rejected sustained criticism over the surveillance tactics, claiming they're necessary to keep the city safe. Three human rights organisations, including the American Civil Liberties Union, have sued the NYPD, accusing the department of unconstitutional religious profiling and suspicionless surveillance. While Ray Kelly and Michael Bloomberg have repeatedly proven they won't back down, Muslim groups have made it clear they won't either. Kath Turner, Al Jazeera, New York.